Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. Come on in. Have a seat. It's so great to see everybody today. And my name is Renee, and you have reached Blessed and Beautiful. If you are a visitor, welcome, welcome. Come on in, sit on the front row. There is plenty of space for everyone on the front row. We hope that everyone is healthy and safe. And right here, you don't have to worry about that because we're all six feet apart. We're all taking care of making sure that we are um, following those guidelines of being six feet apart, but we still get to get some tips on makeup and find all about Boxy charm and what else do we do here? We we like to have fun. We like to do eye looks, which is what we're right in the middle of now. If you have seen the title, I am on Vlogmas number seven, which is in the series of me going to Vlogmas number fifteen, which will have fifteen eye looks that are nice with some of the palettes and some of the makeup that I have here and then you may want to recreate it using some of the items that you have or even decide to purchase a palette that I show you. So I'll try to give you as much information as I can about all of the items that I'm using. So uh, here we are at the International Slay Station which has been named by Teen Editor and we're going to do Vlogmas number seven which is an eye look this one right here and if you know about me you know this is way out of my comfort zone this is a cool toned eyeshadow look now my theme for today is breakfast in bed because some of us since we are unable to travel due to COVID-19 regulations some of us may be home during the holiday season when normally without with family, friends, or whatever. And so I thought, maybe I could do an eye look for those who are just, you know, kind of kicking back at home and they don't need anything elaborate, just something nice and cool toned. And, you know, it has a little bit of silver, so just enough sparkle. And maybe this is for uh, Christmas or maybe you're on vacation during the holidays and, um, you know, just want to do something small but still look cute. So we're going to be using <laughs> the Breakfast in Bed palette by Beauty Bakery. Now, I love the packaging on this. Look at this. It is so cute. And some of these letters are raised so that you can feel the texture of them. That's really nice. And there's a breakfast tray. Well, this tray looks like it has cookies on it to me. <laughs> and all the sheets from bed. Breakfast in Bed, that's me. Who else is breakfast in bed? Put it down in the comments. What do you like to have for breakfast in bed? You know, you like eggs, pancakes, cookies, you know. Tell me down in the comments below what kind of things you like to have. Do you have kids bringing you breakfast in bed or are you making your own breakfast? <laughs> Taking it back to the bed? You know, let me know down in the comments. Now, this palette here, it has nine cool tone shades. They range from mauves to dusty pinks and purples. And down here we have some shimmers, which are based with silver. So nothing warm toned here, mostly all cool toned shades. And then this color here is just the way it looks. It's like a grayish black, okay? So we're gonna be diving into this palette and um, I can give you some ideas on ways that you can use this palette. If you're in BoxyCharm and you got this palette, put that down in the comments below. Have you used it yet? Or have you been like me where you get it and you're like, huh, okay. Yeah, because I love color. I, I really love color. So this is a challenge for me, but I wanted to, to try it. So I did one look with it about a month ago, maybe, um, like when we first got it. And then it kind of been sitting in the drawer. So I'll try to give you um, information on all of the items that I'm using. Again, this is the Breakfast in Bed um, palette by Beauty Bakery. And I'll take a minute and tell you how much that is because I do know that it is still available on their um, website. And I'm going to be using 
the Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Primer to prime my eye. And I'm also using by Ace Beauty this um, bronzing palette. And this is that palette there. That's what I used to bronze today. And I used this shade here. And what else? Oh, my foundation. We did something new today. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. These names are just, they're long. This is the foundation by LA Girl. So I've been loving this company. Very affordable, but very nice products. Now, I will say, what is my shade? My shade is GLM. 651 bronze and um it's kind of thin it's like watery not watery because i've had some that are watery <laughs> oh my gosh okay um so it's it's just thin like it just runs if you see that right there but the cover was the color is very nice and it matches my skin tone very well there you go so it's a very nice product I am always pleasantly surprised because you don't always get nice performing products at such affordable prices and for this one I did I did Okay, so I went on the website. The Beauty Bakery Palette Breakfast in Bed is $38. They do have Afterpay. And I don't see any special sales right now for them. Um, let's see if it's the same at Ulta. Yeah, pretty much everywhere, $38. And then the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation is $8.99. Um, and some places are different, like on their actual website is $10, but at Ulta was $8.99. Um, you also can find it at, on Amazon for seven bucks. Walmart has it for six bucks. So it all depends on where you shop. You might find yourself a good deal. So I can't remember where I got from. I'm not sure. All right. So let's get started with this eye look. Okay. We're only using four or five of the shades. There's nine in here. I feel like if you give me nine shades, I should be trying to use all nine of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we're not gonna use all of them. So first I got a small brush. Now if you're new, I've always been letting everyone know that, you know, I have this small eye space and I already applied my um, pretty vulgar eyeshadow primer. So now we're going to start with Forehead Kisses, which is this shade here. And guess what? I have a new new lights around my mirror so I can see a little bit better. But I'm probably still going to need my mirror just in case you all can't see what I'm doing over here. So that is so nice. All right. So Forehead Kisses is going to start here at your um, lash line and it's going to go all the way up to your crease. You want to blend it in nicely and you may have to apply it several more times just to build up the color. I really wanted it to look the way it did in the pan and it wasn't um, close but on me, it looked more like a grayish pink than what's in here. So, after I did this, I kind of went old school, where I used to just have like three colors. I used to sell Mary Kay, and we had these cards, and it was like, you use this one color here, you use this one color here, and then you put something in your outer corner, and you're done. So that's kind of where I went, only because this was, 
it was intimidating to me. It was like, I don't know what to do with these colors. All right, so next, I went into the shimmer. I know, that seems weird. We're already on the shimmer. And I'm using my Luxie blending brush. Just got these in last month's BoxyCharm. And we're gonna go into this shimmer here called Fresh Face. That is the silver that I have up here. And first I patted it in. And yeah, I didn't even wet the brush. Maybe if I had wet it, I wouldn't have had to pat in so much. But okay. And you see how it's dark over there? That's because I like it's a lot of layers over here. A lot. I guess just because it's so cool toned, it doesn't pop out like a, a warm tone shadow would. All right, we'll add some more soon. I really like these lights around my mirror. I got one of those kits. It was 10 lights and you take off the sticky tab and stick it on the mirror. It's okay. Works for now. Okay, so we got our silver that was fresh face. Okay, and so now we're gonna go into the messy hair right here. And that's why I did it. I was like, okay, this is breakfast in bed. I'm gonna have my hair up in my wrap. Not a lot of makeup, my small little earrings. Nice, cool, laid back type of day. All right, so for the messy hair, um, what I did first was I applied that to my outer corner, my outer V, and I brought it in a little along the lash line here, and then I went up into my crease. Now this eye always looks different because this eye has more space than this one does. This one is more hooded. I always do this one because it's closer to the camera. Okay. Now, what I did, because it was really hard to see this color, you may be fine just with this type of shade and, you know, I can see it a lot better than I did over here, maybe because of this extra ring light. But what I did was I took a blending brush, a small one, and I went into that middle grayish black color here called Boo in a View. You might be hanging out with your boo. <laughs> um, and so I just added that in the V. And I used this tiny brush, so it wasn't a lot. It shouldn't be like this big, smoky, you know, dark black. It's just enough to darken it up again. And then I went back into the messy hair. And added more of the plum shade that this is. So I just wanted a darker, messy hair color. One of my Facebook mentors told me about this. She's like, yeah, you just add some black and that'll darken it up and make it show up more. Okay, so we got that done. Now I'm going to go back into the forehead kisses because I don't see a lot of fallout, but just, you know, as you're adding your other colors, sometimes it takes away from what you had here at the beginning. And that's basically the eye look. Very simple, cool toned, and just a soft little shade of silver. Because it's not your regular breakfast in bed, this is like Christmas holiday breakfast in bed. <laughs> so, that's that part. Now we're going to go in with the eyeliner. 
which is my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the color black. This is my favorite liquid eyeliner. I have three of these floating around all over the place. I know I need to order some new ones because they're old, but these are my favorite. And I've never gotten to the end of them. I've just had to throw them away because either they got to be too old or this top tends to, if you over screw the thing, it'll crack it. And so this one I taped because I was like, not yet. It's still plenty in here. I can't do it. Gotta hold on to it. All right. Y'all been wondering where Oreo is? He's visiting his girlfriend. So I get him tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> My sister has a dog, so she came and got him for me because I wasn't feeling well today. So he'll be back tomorrow. All right. So we are going right across. Hey, you all can't see. Um, right across here. And we're not doing a wing. It's not that kind of um it's not that kind of party, y'all. It's not, you know, that kind of look. It's just like a laid back look. We're not even doing lashes. Not today. This is your lady back day. Now, if you want to do lashes, go right ahead. I just figured since this was laid back and I kind of figured, you know, after you eat your heavy meal, you probably take a nap and, you know, open gifts and watch some Christmas movies. You know, not necessarily needing but if you want some, go ahead and add some, especially if you have some natural ones that, you know, just kind of give you a small lash effect. If you like barely have lashes like I do, then, you know, I can understand why you would say, you know what, I'm still going to add some lashes. My lashes were growing very well when I was using, um, I just found it the other day. Where is it? So BoxyCharm put this Dermalect uh, Lash Volumizer, yeah, I was using that on a regular, but once I started packing the move, I lost track of it, and I just found it maybe like a week ago, so I'm going to start putting them back on my lashes again, because my lashes were, whoo, they were looking good. My lashes acting like that is because I got some of the um eyeshadow primer on there, so now they're stuck together. All right, one second. I forgot, I don't know if I showed y'all these. I had to start over twice, so just in case I didn't show you all those, those are the swatches. I got some mascara in my eye, so let's get ready to douse it with this clear eyes, but. I think it, it worked itself out. All right, so now we need some blush. Not anything big. We need blush and lippies. We'll be right back. Okay. We're going to use this color from my Kenya Ontiveros face palette. Got this in BoxyCharm a little while ago, maybe over the summer. And I'm going to use the XOXO. This palette's not very pigmented at all. Like, you really have to build it up. But it looks much darker than this in the pan. But I'm going to stop here because that, that looks like it's pretty good. All right, and for my highlighter, I'm going into my Duo Light 
Highlight 9 color palette. This is from BH Cosmetics. And there's this purple here. But it's not like overpowering. It's a nice cool purple. That goes along with the silver a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to use my favorite powder brush. It's dirty, I know. Um, and I'm going into my Rimmel Stay Matte. This is in the color Pecan. I like this. It warms up my skin a lot and also calms down all the extra color <laughs> that I go berserk and put on. I love color though. What's your first, um, you know, how did you first get into makeup? I was in um, class in the ninth grade and this girl was putting on makeup in class and I just asked her a question I don't even know what I asked her but that was back before we thought about germs and everything but she's like I'll do yours and she, I think it was towards the end of the year she sat in class and did my makeup forgot about it get home my stepmom was like who did your face and so I told her she was like it looks really good that's not what my dad thought <laughs> But that's how I got started. I'm watching our time. I got like five minutes. All right. So we did blush. We did that. So now we're doing lips and then we're done. All right. So I got this color by NYX. Hmm. It's called Vintage. So I just wanted to see if that would be a color that I can use. Makeup looks good in this mirror. This is another one of my favorite um, lip liner brands. This one and LA Girl. It's so smooth and doesn't tug on your lips. Okay. And the color that I'm going to use. Where'd it go? Okay, we got this in. No, this is an add on. This is an add on from BoxyCharm. They had this where you can add some colors, and I think this was like $6. This is the Marc Jacobs lip gloss, and it is called Cha Cha Changes. The Enamored Lip Gloss. Cha Cha Changes is the name of it. And. Mm, this feels so good on my lips. I like it because it's not, even though it's a lip gloss, it's not, um, it's not warm. Like I, when I first got it, I was like, yeah, I can't wear this with anything. Once I started doing my cool tone palettes, perfect. I like it. It's really pretty and it has some tingling to it as well. So, so ladies, that is it. What do you all think about this look? Put down in the comments. I've been reading some of the comments, but I haven't really had anybody say, oh, yeah, that was good, or you should try this. Put that down. I'd love to hear some of your comments. If you have any other um, products that you'd like to suggest or know about, or if I didn't answer a question like about a product, about maybe how much it costs, I can tell you this um, highlight palette it is $18 on um, Beige Cosmetics. Look at that. TJ Maxx, $1.50 because it was broken. So I went online, figured out how to fix. I had to fix this one and this one. $1.50. Yeah, but this is this is that palette. And if you go on TJ Maxx, they might have it. I'm not sure. 
um, but on, they do have it on the website, and I believe it's like 18 bucks. So that's it, ladies. I hope that you liked this nice, cool down, uh, relaxing eyeshadow look. And um, for all those who are probably going to have breakfast in bed during the holidays, this would be a nice, calm down, cool tone look for you. So. Thank you so much for being here and um, watching with me as I make my way towards 15 eye colors before Christmas Day. And you know what we say around here, whether it is day or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, I hope that is good. Don't forget to pray and don't forget to slay.